Hey everyone, it's Andrew with Andrew's Air Cool Technology. Um, wanted to give you an update. I put a video out, a three part series on fan shrouds. Um, the last part of that was about my new fan shroud. Um, I'm calling the Evolution Fan Shroud. And it's back here on my test rig right now. I just made another prototype and just finished uh, testing with it. You can see it on there. Um, the changes that I made worked beautifully. I now have the one problem I had with the airflow between the one two cylinder side and the three four cylinder side balanced. So they're the same amount of air going between both now, which is great. That's what I wanted. And of course that's what everybody wants in a cooling system. It's nice balanced airflow. Um, the airflow um, measurements are even a little bit better in this version than before, probably because there's a little less complication in the air veins. I actually removed one of them, um, so there's you know there's probably a little less turbulence in there, you know, providing a little bit more uh, airflow. So so that's good news. I don't have the optimized fan yet in here testing. That's going to be next. Um, once I have the optimized fan in here and I've got that tested, um, then we'll start ready to talk about you know putting this thing into production at, uh, pretty soon. Which is exciting, and uh, um, the other thing that I did in terms of the way it's designed, which is really just for manufacturability, worked really well. Uh, so the changes I made to make it just easier to put together, weld together, um, get it nice and where it's square, and there's you know you don't have any issues with that, uh, worked great. It was actually really easy to put it together uh, and keep it nicely done, welded together, and and all that. So. So pleased with that and uh, thought you guys might want to update on it. Looking really nice. I'm going to post some pictures on the Facebook page as well of me putting this thing together um, in the stages that I put it together in. So uh, you'll get to see that. And uh, um, I really appreciate you know, all the interest in this. This is great. I think uh, we're real close now to having uh, you know the first full cooling system product on the market. One thing, a couple of things I'd like to know too, if you guys want to comment, uh, let me know what you think. Obviously, I don't have right now a provision in the fan shroud for the coil mount. Um, I do have, oh, my, my heater went off, so hopefully it's easier for you to hear me. Hopefully, I, I don't have to do this again. I'll find out, I guess, when I edit this, but um, I do have a, a redesigned mount. Let me show it to you because it's like easy to just show it to you. For the coil and uh, essentially here's a here's a coil this would mount like like so this piece is just a 3d printed obviously copy this piece would just bolt down where the where the fuel pump goes um, of course not everybody can do that um, now, CB performance sells something very similar to this probably very close uh, identical so the other option too, I do have a dealer agreement with CBE Performance. I could I could just give that as an option, include that versus making my own. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think about kind of coil mount because uh, I don't have a provision for it. I could uh, put uh, two um, six millimeter nuts on the back and have holes, you know, and weld them in place just like I do for the backing plate uh, for the coil mount as well. If you guys like the coil mount, I like a kind of clean look of just not having it there. And there's a lot of different ways people mount coils. This is just kind of one option. So let me know what you think about kind of that. Um, the the throttle tube is in the same position, so none of that's different. So all, all your linkage stuff should work just fine for throttle. Um, you don't have to do anything special there. It's really just the coil mount, um, what you guys kind of think of that. The other thing I kind of wanted some feedback on, if you would comment what you, you know, kind of your opinion would be great, which is <clears throat> I'm going to probably just sell these things bare. So you'll just get it steel. You can then do whatever paint and, you know, uh, work you want to do with it. Uh, they probably won't be perfect. There'll probably be little imperfections here and there because it is handmade. Um, and uh, <clears throat> you can have it powder coated. In fact, I'm going to probably take this one right here. And go powder, go get it powder coated, just to see kind of how it comes out. It looks based on the way I put it together, um, and see how good it looks. Because uh, the powder coat 
will hide some of the small imperfections for sure. Um, not really sure, you know, what it'll look like. I, I think it actually turned out really good. What I did is, besides grounding all the welds, you know, flat, um, is uh, beveled the edges as well. I have a I have a kind of mini steel beveler. Uh, well, metal be beveler it can be used other than steel, and I ran that around the edges and everything. So I took the sharp edges off after I ground the wells down, and you got a nice kind of beveled look. I think it looks quite quite nice. Of course, it's bare, so and you can see all the all the uh, uh, you know grind marks. But uh, as soon as I think it's powder coat, I think it'll look really good. But let me know what you think about that because uh, I could offer an option. I won't powder coat these things just for everybody because it's like. What color do you choose? And I could powder coat a black, and then if you don't want black, you strip it off. And powder coat, you know, can be stripped off, obviously. Like paint, it's harder. Uh, requires a, a, a different technique, a different chemical, really, to to remove powder coat. Of course, you could sandblast it off, that kind of stuff, too. Um, but whatever you think, let me know what you think there. But I think I'm just going to sell them bare. But I might give an option uh, uh, to powder coat. Um, and pick a, you know, basically pick a color out of the prismatic uh, color uh, options. Uh, they're really one of the nicer powder coating companies in terms of their their powder coat. They have a huge selection of colors and effects. Uh, you can get, um, you know, metallics and pearls and um, ones that flop in terms of look at different colors and different lights and um, and you can get, you know, uh, textured and all different kinds of things. And they're less expensive than some of the other vendors. And, and my cow, pow, powder coating uh, partner, uh, the provider that I use for powder coating the uh, the fixed cooling flaps, right, can, could do that for us. And he uses the, you know, he has options besides the prismatic powders, but those are less expensive. So for you to go with the less expensive option is probably best uh, in terms of that. Uh, so... Um, so we would just do that like on, on order you could have an op I could have a drop down option you want powder coat and here pick a color uh, and you can pick out of the prismatic colors and then I would just you know you would have to wait a little longer I would send it off to him uh, his lead time normally uh, whether it's one offs or whether it's a lot it's usually two weeks normal you pay extra for shorter lead times than that um, but he's been he's almost always on time I think one time he was a day late for me that's really pretty much it. Most of the time, he's one or two days early for me. So he always does a good job of turning it around. So just let me know what you think uh, kind of on that option. So coil, paint, powder coat, you know, powder coating option. Um, and, uh, we'll, you know, we'll see what we do in terms of that. Uh, also, obviously, um, this thing doesn't have the oil cooler. It's going to have an oil, going to come with an oil cooler block off. <clears throat> Uh, if you want a full kit, because I probably could create an option where you just get a full kit, give you an oil cool, external oil cooler with fan, uh, thermostat controlled, uh, along with the, the the fittings and hose and everything. Um, I'm looking at vendors for that, for the fittings and the hose, but I think I have one picked out that's very reasonably priced but has good quality stuff. Um, so that's just another thing, too, to think about. Um, I do have a relationship with C-Trap, so I can get their oil coolers and fans, and they work great. I've used them on all my engines. They're, they're awesome. But I have that on, on my test engine over here as well. So let me know about that uh, if you guys would be interested in doing that because, you know, you can just get the whole thing. You get the cooling system, you know, get the uh, uh, external oil cooler, get hoses, fittings, the whole thing, and have be ready to, like, just put together uh, in your project. So... Let me know what you think about that. It could also just be an option I just put on the website. You know, you can order the that stuff yourself, And uh, but we could also just do a uh, complete kit. So let me know your thoughts. I really appreciate the feedback uh, on everything, and uh, thanks uh, for the, you know, continued support and interest, and hopefully we'll get this on the market before too long. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye.